Hey there, I'm Beth, I'm your Monday person. So, um, today I've got to talk about Harry Potter. Now, um, I know this seems very stereotypical of us, because we're all British and Harry Potter is a very British thing. But at the moment, I suspect it's mostly British people watching this. So, you know. So, I have loved Harry Potter ever since I read the first book and th that was literally like, how old am I? I was 16. How old was I? Seven? Yeah, seven. I might have been younger. I was a very young reader. Um, yeah, so about ten, nine, ten years I've loved it. Um, oh, other people say they've loved it, but have they set up the Dumbledore's Army Club? No, no, no. I did. We had one meeting. How was it really? So yeah, um, I've read every single book at least five times. Um, I don't know, well I've seen all the films. I don't ever prefer the films over uh, the books though. Because I mean Daniel Radcliffe's alright but he just, ugh. I don't see Harry as arrogant, you know. But he seemed really arrogant in the films. Basically, thing is, I found a song that perfectly reflects my inner feelings towards Harry. Okay, just scratch that last bit. Just scratch it, okay. Because, I mean, this is like the Harry in the books that I'm singing about, okay. And it's a Taylor Swift song. And I've got my blue guitar. Well, you will have seen in my um, Christmas song video in the middle of summer. Get me with those green eyes, baby, as the lights go down Something that'll haunt me when you're not around Cause I see sparks fly whenever you're me So I changed a few of the lyrics in there, I'm not sure if you noticed I suppose she didn't really write about sparks flying when ones meet but it's basically meant to represent um, Voldemort and Harry's struggle over having the same core in their wands, basically. It's quite complicated. Um, so, and I think the chorus really captures my feelings for Harry because it's like, get me with your green eyes, baby. Ironically enough, this also captures my feelings for Harry Styles. And he has green eyes too, just to be ironic there. And he, blue guitar, green eyes. That is my view on the books and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna like do a crossover his sort of thing here. Doctor Who. Because I love Doctor Who too. Um, and you know, a few episodes back. Oh yeah, should I just go, spoiler alert! If you haven't watched it. A few episodes back when, um, well actually it was the first episode. Great. Um, when they had the Oswin Oswald episode. Um, if you notice that the guy who plays Solomon, 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 also plays um, Argus Filch in Harry Potter, who's the squib caretaker, you should know that. And then also there's um, Rory's dad, there's um, Ron Weasley's dad, so you know. That's cool. So I love how that was all linked together. And I was like, oh my god, fandoms collide. Uh, yeah, can't tell my Tumblr girl or anything. Anywho, so, so I love Harry Potter. This week we have a new, what should I call her, trainee? That's her first week anyway. I suppose you wouldn't really call her trainee, but she's got the job! Um, so this is her first week and her name's Meg. So everyone be nice to her because we love her. And I've only talked to her like twice. But you know, we're going to get to know each other. Um, yeah, anywho, she likes um, Harry Potter, 
which is why she's starting this week and not last week. But yeah. Oh no, I've not gone back and Anywho, so this was my Harry Potter week and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you ever need a hug, just come to me. Au revoir. I shall see you next week. Bye bye. Harry Potter on us. I like Harry Potter a lot less. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. I loved it. No, I don't. I'm oh, sorry, I'm definitely wrapping the wrong thing. Oh no. Voldemort, Voldemort, ooh, Voldemort, Voldemort, Voldemort.